love the movie very much, and I love that your character is a really strong female, which is quite rare on the big screen. Why is it so rare that you know we have see action female action heroes? You know, I don't know the answer. You know, I think other people will have other perspectives, but I, you know, I do think that a lot of times we don't give women the credit that they deserve, and and I think women are incredibly capable. And when you create a character who um, is an MI6 spy and have, you, is, has trained her entire life to be that, then you should do that and, and, it's, and, and, and have it be truthful. And I think we sometimes don't give women enough credit that they can be great fighters. They have to fight differently because they're not men, but that doesn't mean that they're weak or that they're not as strong as men because most fights that are won are won up here. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, how was it to jump back into a time of the 80s, uh, being in this, you know, clothes, being here in the music again? How was that? I love the 80s. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a child of the 80s. So for me, it's super nostalgic and I love the music and I love the clothes. I think the clothes in this film are so incredible. So I absolutely loved it. It's one of my favorite eras to be in. Yeah. And what do you remember uh, from yourself hearing from the time when the Berlin Wall came down? How do you remember that time? I was really young and I was living in South Africa at the time and it was, you know, it was something that we saw everywhere. We saw on the front pages of the newspaper and on television and everybody talked about it. Um, you know, there was a lot of similarities. Apartheid was still alive and well and this idea of separation was something that people really talked about. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank, Thank you. you.